Hi, welcome along to another video. This time, going to check out some recent articles in the news. We'll be looking at India, Germany, and the United Arab Emirates. Please don't forget to subscribe or hit the thumbs up button. So we'll start in India, in Karnataka. The government has approved cloud seeding proposal or weather modification proposal by private firms amid a drought crisis. This is from the September the 17th, 2023. As a response to the rain shortage in Belgavi, the Karnataka government has granted approval to a proposal put forth by two private companies for cloud seeding. Kiati Climate Modification Consultants and Belgaum Sugars Private Limited the two private companies had initially approached the district administration seeking permission for self-funded cloud seeding. Subsequently, this request was forwarded to the Revenue Department in Bengaluru for deliberation. Following careful consideration, the Joint Secretary of the Revenue Department has granted authorization for cloud seeding for weather modification. There's a nice picture of a plane dumping whatever as a means to modify the weather. One of the companies doing it is a sugar company. They're involved in producing vegetables, etc. The other company is a climate modification company, KRT Climate Modification. Now I have touched upon this company in previous videos. This article from September the 8th, 2015 also talks about Kiati Climate Modification Consultants. So we know they've been operational for at least eight years. And those of you that have been following Karnataka and Kerala in these videos know as previously reported when Karnataka did weather modification, generally Kerala gets the brunt of it and floods out. India is a bit surrounded by weather modification on the Tibetan plateau up to the north. If you want to know more about the weather modification activities of Karnataka and Kerala in India, there are 24 articles covering the last eight years on the weather and climate modification news website. A link is provided in the information section of this video. And that's the same for India in general. If you want to check the history of India's weather modification program, there's 59 articles covering 1954 to 2021, so the last 70 or so years. Germany, once again, similar to a couple of years ago, there have been extreme weather events in Germany. This time, thankfully, by the looks of it, no one was killed. Although the weather modification activities from about three years ago did kill approximately 300 people. The two weather modification programs that occur out of Germany. One, they don't produce any details. The other, they do. All the flight logs are listed. For example, if we look at the flight logs for the 17th of August 2023, during the extreme weather event, we can see at 20 past three in the afternoon, the weather modification generators are on. If we look to the 16th, we can see that from five o'clock in the evening till half five, in different areas, the weather modification generators are on. As always, you can see the name of the pilot that is responsible for the weather modification activities. As it takes a pilot to fly the planes, the pilot can always say, no, I'm not going to modify the weather because of the extreme weather events that it causes, but they don't. They're happy to do that and cause damage to property, etc. If we look for the 14th of August we can see more pilot names and you can see that they're at it from half past two in the afternoon till three o'clock in the afternoon the weather modification generator or the plane was cloud seeding the generators were on you can see from these flight logs the height the altitude all the details you need the Rosenheim which is the other project they don't publicise their information. They do tend to give out a report at the end of the season, which is in about a month's time. 
If you wish to get more information on the history of Germany's weather modification program, you can see from the 1930s to 2023, so almost 100 years worth, on the website via the link below. Just to illustrate the damage to property and loss of life thing, etc. And just to confirm that I'm not simply sitting here saying extreme things about stuff. In the United Arab Emirates, which regularly carries out weather modification activities. On the 7th of August, cloud seeding operations are in place to enhance rainfall. So weather modification operations are in place to enhance rainfall. The UAE's artificial rainstorm disrupts daily life activities across the country. Not such a problem for the citizens of the UAE as they're all rich and they can just throw money at solutions. This is not the case in other countries. On the 9th of August, it was stated that 22 weather modification missions have been carried out since June 2023, so in the four months, but they're backtracking on the information. Top official explains why the country experienced rainstorms last week, and he stressed that it wasn't entirely because of weather modification of cloud seeding. So they're fully aware they caused property damage and extra expense to people. I'm happy to announce that before, but when it actually happens, they start to backtrack and the damage, etc. the disruption isn't just because of the weather modification activity. If you want to find out more about the United Arab Emirates weather modification activity, you can find 92 articles covering the last 10 years on the website. Whatever country you're in though, if you check the website, you'll probably be able to find information on your country or countries next door to you as there are very few countries that don't have programs nowadays or are not directly influenced or affected by weather modification programs being carried out nearby so I'll be, I'll be back with some more information very soon covering other areas with news from recent months until that time look after yourselves See you next time.